This is walking beam Stirling engine. It runs just on the air that's captured inside of the, the motor itself. It's uh, also known as a hot air engine. Uh, you saw some of the earlier tests and now we're kind of moving on towards the, uh, the finish of the project. As you can see, the, the little generator is uh, developing enough of uh, potential to light the diodes on this uh, light emitting diode flag. It's actually generating about 3 volts when the motor is turning uh, approximately 1600 RPMs. The materials and drawings for this motor came from the littlemachineshop.com uh, but after receiving everything and studying it for a while I decided to re-engineer and give the motor a little bit different look and have it work a little bit different than original. And so off into AutoCAD it went. An important difference on this motor is that I offset the uh, power piston with the um, with respect to the displacer piston. Each one is moved off of center in the opposite direction. This allows all of the linkages connecting the pistons to the cams and the uh, walking beam to be straight. There's no bends or weird turns or anything else. Here you can see the flag going. Lights were out there for a minute and I put them back on. I soldered some little pins uh, directly onto the back of it and it plugs right into the socket of the generator. laser tack is aimed at the top of the walking beam and it puts the, uh, the laser beam only on the upstroke so it counts correctly and you can see it's uh, registering about 1920 RPMs. I've fashioned the alcohol burner to have sort of like a long narrow flame and it's actually pretty effective. It uh, gets the motor going pretty good. Everything in the motor is ball bearing. The, uh, the original model and, uh, and drawings uh, didn't actually show any bearings. Uh, there's nine bearings in all here. Here's my little generator. Uh, this is actually a, a DC motor from a, a computer uh, disk drive and it's uh, put in this little housing to, to match the rest of the motor. I'm, uh, I'm actually designing a, an axial flux generator that will be a three phase motor and do a lot better than this but for the time being this is doing a nice little job. You can see the model airplane uh, a servo plug on the bottom of this uh, little unit. It works nice for plugging little devices in. There's a few of these little bearings hidden, hidden away. Uh, this isn't exactly as it seems. If you'll see, uh, see what I'm doing here, I'm removing the, the little doll and uh, when that's out of there you'll see another one of these tiny bearings inside the, uh, the vertical part. Let's have a look at the uh, power piston here. 
I'll remove this uh, this column and it lets me pull the uh, piston out of the top of this. The piston is uh, made from graphite. It's a common uh, EDM electrode material. I seem to have pretty good good luck with these graphite pistons. They run pretty smooth. And I think I'll do a little bit better once I once I uh, anodize the uh, aluminum inside the uh, cylinder. Here you can see uh, the um, shaft bearings. They happen to be. 532nd ID bearings. The shaft itself is made from a high speed drill rod. Let's take this cylinder off and have a look at the displacer piston. Uh, actually an aluminum piston came with the kit and it was pretty nice. But I wanted something just a little bit lighter so I made this one out of uh, graphite material. Balance is sort of an issue in, in this area where the uh, move, uh, parts move horizontally because you can't really balance them out so the lighter the better here. I have a graphite sleeve running through this block also for this uh, horizontal uh, shaft that holds the displacer piston. This kind of keeps things uh, moving really nice and smooth. This is noteworthy. The, uh, the motor will run on a, on a candle. Um, I don't advise it though. It's really messy. But just to show you that it doesn't need an awful lot of heat to keep things going. Here you can see the offset between the vertical and the horizontal cylinders. Uh, with this offset, you can you can keep all this linkage uh, and the cylinders and the pistons and the cams all nice and straight. You can see that here from above. Okay, all that's left is some final polishing, maybe some bearing alignment, and uh, I'd like to try some anodizing. Thank you for watching the video. I enjoyed presenting it.